content of the workshop was how to make youth musical theatre and the, the, the question is is there a difference between theatre for adults and a theatre for youth and I don't think so actually the only thing is you have for youth you have to be clearer and sometimes a bit quicker uh, and then the next one can be in line with the middle of the instrument perfect and then the next one in line with the end of the instrument so maybe you do the do and the mi okay so this one, this one, and then let it move up your body. So it starts off in the So hand. with this project, and Little Nemo it. and the Ice Cream Witch, we targeted six-year-olds, and I thought, what would six-year-old Heather, what would the six-year-old me like to watch and like to hear with the story? <laughs> and then you'll give her the nod to say, I, finished I think young singers really need to to um, to learn how to 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 perform for young people because uh, young people are the public uh, of the future. Les noirs que tu joues, c'est quoi? Ah, okay. I thought that I would have to exaggerate everything and um, really kind of overact and then that becomes very quickly a sort of caricature or even a clown or something and a child doesn't necessarily need to see that. I mean, you know, they want to see the same things that they would want to do like just uh, eating ice cream on their birthday which is what's in our scene. Children are a very, very good audience because they don't have any preconceptions. I think that's the thing that fascinates most people that are doing children's theatre, is that they don't come into the theatre with a set of expectations like adults. The adults expect it has to be like this or it has to be like this. The children don't expect anything. And the, the task for, while uh, directing and composing for children is that they don't have the experience that adults have. So everything that happens has to be ex explained itself in the moment it happens. In my opinion, it's not education and it's not entertainment. It's art for them. Like you go to Aida or whatever in the evening, Magic Flute. You look at a, a work done by, by artists for an audience. And this is what we tried to teach also this week. Think of them as a very serious audience, take them serious and feel like an artist always and not as a teacher.